Well, good morning. What I intend to do today and to try to film it is an initial look at some uh, ore samples that I got from the Cobalt uh, Silver Camp and see you know what's really in these these pieces of rock that my metal detector told me were worth taking home. So uh, let's look at it together and I'll show you a few tips and tricks that I've learned along the way and uh, hopefully you'll find it interesting. Let's go. So here's the rocks. The first thing is when, when I look at something is how heavy is it? Because a rock is heavy doesn't necessarily mean it's valuable, but uh, it's a pretty good indicator. <coughs> that one is four and a half pounds. This one with only, you can see a small vein on it, is just under three pounds. This beast here is six and a half pounds. Something like this, which initial review seems to be it's a mix of nickel and silver with uh, dolomite, but let's uh, weigh that. Four pounds. Then you get down, I won't do every one, you get down to something like this, which has perhaps a little bit of vein material in it, but it is light. That's just a touch over one pound. So a pretty good indicator. Now the next step for me is to use soap and water. I, I like using this. It's, uh, it's a concentrated deck wash, but uh, dish soap works just fine. And what I really want to do is wash these bad boys off multiple times just in soap and water can leave them in there to rinse and once in a while with a toothbrush just clean them up see how dirty that gets so that's not clean at all so the next step is once once I, I get rid of all the organics off of there and a lot of the staining is here's the next trick iron out you could use CLR but it's more expensive this stuff is a powder and you just shake it in on the water and uh, let it do its thing it will clean up any iron stains and rust stains that are on your rocks makes it a heck of a lot easier um, to to see what you're dealing with um, one thing to point out is warm water is a heck of a lot more effective than cold water. <coughs> then, once the rock seems to be fairly clean, oh by the way, I don't use this right away. The main reason is it's still pricey. Uh, so I want my rocks to be fairly clean and I want clean water in there with um, with the rocks so that I'm not having the iron out work on just the junk that's dissolved in the water. I think that makes sense. But anyway, see this one? Still dirty as well. Starting to clean up. There is a bit of iron stain up and through here. So the iron out will take that out. And there you can see the iron stain in through here. So it'll make it a lot easier to inspect the rock when we're done. Now, at some point, what you want to do is rub the rock and, or use a leather glove and rub the rock just to see whether or not you get a lot of stuff that shines. Now you don't do this to a fragile rock, you know, wire silver, plate silver, that sort of thing. But on a silver ore, yeah, no problem. 
In fact, a, a step can be to use a tool like a Dremel. And as you know, there's just a ton of attachments for those kind of tools. Uh, in this case, I just brought a, um, a cordless drill with a wire, uh, I don't know what you'd call that thing. <laughs> So it got plenty dirty, as you can see. Just dip it, use a toothbrush on it. This happens to be an electric toothbrush. <laughs> when you're <laughs> out in the field, I take a toothbrush with, a toothbrush with, and uh, sometimes clean the rocks when I'm out there. What you don't want to do is confuse the toothbrush that you've been cleaning the rocks with with the one back at your camp and clean your teeth with. <laughs> I've almost done that a couple of times. There are all kinds of nasty things in these rocks that you would not want to dissolve with a toothbrush and then stick in your mouth. But you can see it's already starting to get nicer. The other tool, of course, is a pinpointer to figure out where in the rock you have the mineralization. That thing is solid mineral of some sort. Same with that. This one Not anything more with. Complete waste of time. This one. For now, I'm not getting anything more with. It's just that plate that's right there. What else do we have? So, enough of that. And start to see the metal ore coming through. I would suggest it's silver and this one a mix of silver and nickel because there was some green staining on it but a, a very healthy and attractive rock. See the green staining? Something like this which has dolomite or calcite in it which is the white there is a step you can do uh, in clean water with diluted muriatic acid. You could dip this just for a short while of time and expose a little more of the vein material because the, the white will dissolve. If it's a good rock, you don't want to do it for too long. Because you might in fact destroy the rock. So, again, sometimes rubbing helps. And what you're really looking for is rather than gray, or like there, red, you want to see something coming through that is shiny. And if it shines up, like you can see down in here, it's starting to shine up a little bit. There's at least some silver. Well, silver or platinum, right? So, there's something you can see the rock and then all that vein material. And if I shine it, look at the dirt come off of there. start to see 
the shiny come through and shiny is good especially if when you shade it it's still shiny so again my next step is going to be iron out um, perhaps on the one with calcite a little bit of muriatic acid and see whether or not I, I can't expose on the outside dendritic silver and then the final step the absolute final step and this is one that I learned from experience there we go is leave the rocks out in the open for a few days perhaps a week and if the rock is predominantly something like this which is cobalt the cobalt bloom will come back the same with nickel you'll get oxidation and it doesn't mean there's no silver but what it does mean is it's probably more nickel or cobalt than it is silver kind of tells you what you're dealing with Hopefully you found that interesting. Um, I'll continue to clean these rocks. I'll show you what a couple of the samples look like when they are cleaned with this initial stage. Anyway, thanks for watching.